Welcome to the first lesson. In this lesson, we will learn how to create the bottom taskbar. As you can see, when we press tab on our keyboard, the bottom taskbar will show up. If we hover over a button, it will display a text information and this will apply for all buttons of this taskbar. Let's continue by opening the Epic Game Launcher and go to Library tab. In this project, I'm still using Unreal 5.1, but it's up to you if you want to install another version like 5.3. Next, let's run the engine by pressing this button. When the project browser is open, choose first person template. Make sure it's blueprint and leave the option as a default. Next, let's put this project on our desktop for easy to find. And for the project name, I will use interior configurator then press create button when the project template is open right click and choose new folder and give it name like configurator under this folder create a new one called blueprints and create one more called widgets under this widget folder right click and choose user interface then select widget blueprint and give it name like bp underscore main widget double click on this widget to open it Type on the search bar canvas panel drag this canvas panel under BP main widget select fill screen at the top and change to custom I will use HD resolution like 1920 by 1080 next drag one more canvas panel and put it under canvas panel and rename it to taskbar the taskbar still selected change the anchor settings to bottom and change the position value and size to zero Now let's move it up a little bit by change the value to minus 120. Next on the search bar, type blur and drag this background blur to under taskbar. Change the anchor to full. Change alt value to zero. And adjust the blur strength to something like 10. In this case, let's use 5. If we look at the reference, we can see that on this taskbar, there are 4 columns. Let's make it by look for horizontal panel. Drag this horizontal box panel under taskbar. The anchor change to fill and set the value to zero. So it can fully fill the layout. Then 
then look for vertical box and drag and drop under horizontal box then we need to copy this vertical box four times next select all these vertical box change the size to fill so now we have four columns next let's add spacer because as we can see each column has space on the search bar type spacer and put this spacer under horizontal box change the size to 50 let's duplicate the spacer to the end then duplicate one more and move the spacer to in between vertical boxes So now we have a proper layout. Select the vertical box one and change the size field to, to 0 0.5 and the second vertical box we do the same similar to the last vertical box Next, let's create this yellow line. On the search bar, type border and drag it and put under taskbar. And it's still selected. Change the anchor to top. Offset right setting change to zero. And let's adjust the height. And also change the color to yellow. The height to something like 7. Next, we will add a text. And put this text under first vertical box. Then change the text to mode. Adjust the font size to 10. And change the top padding to 20. Also, change the typeface to regular. Now, let's add these three buttons. Type and find horizontal box and drag and drop under vertical box. Size change to fill so it will fill the entire column. Adjust the bottom padding to 20 or 15.
and top padding to 5. Next, find this box and drag it under horizontal box. Change size to fill and duplicate this to 3 times. Now let's add spacer to give a space between button. Just desize to something like 20. Duplicate the spacer and put at the top of this box. Let's adjust the vertical box size a little bit. Change the fill size to something like 0.4 The next one also same 0.4 Readjust again to something like 0 0.32 We need to make sure the button's container is a square. Next, let's add a button. Find button and drag under this box. Then select all three buttons, change the draw as option as a box. Because we have done the first container that includes text and buttons, we will duplicate this. and delete the other container. Now copy this vertical box and move it in between the spacers. Change the text to HUD Delete also this vertical box because we will replace it with the current one. Let's copy one more again and move it in between the spacer. Change the text to option. And compile it and save it. Now we want to display this widget in the gameplay. To do that, open the first person folder under the blueprint, find BP first person, double click to open it.
from this even begin play output drag and find sequence node by pressing ctrl plus hold left click we can switch the wire from this output drag and find create widget under the class find the widget that we have done before which is bp underscore main widget from the owning player find get player controller from the main widget output pull out and find add to viewport node and connect the target to return value from the get player controller pull out and find show most cursor and connect the input make sure to check show most cursor let's compile and save it under this three dot icon select new window editor so now we can see the widget in the gameplay mode